Happy Valentine's Day, my friends. I decided to do a get ready with me video. It's my first time ever doing this type of video, so bear with me. It might be a little like a makeup tutorial. As I've said in my past makeup tutorials, I'm not a beauty vlogger and not the best at putting on makeup, so please bear with me. Right now, I prep my skin with, you know it, if you watch my videos. I love my Elotone Moisturizer. It's from a dermatologist with my prescription for dry skin I get in the winter. I got my red shirt on for Valentine's Day. It's, uh, I think, the only red shirt I own. I usually just wear a lot of blacks and grays and neutral colors, uh, but this was from H&M and it was only like $12, so I thought, why the heck not? I also would like to apologize if you hear a crickety rattling noise. It's a really cold and windy day here. I got the furnace on right next to me, so it might be making noises. I decided to switch things up and film this tutorial slash get ready with me video in my living room because I think it's a little more aesthetically pleasing than my bathroom with the shower curtain you've all seen a million times. I was watching other YouTubers and I realized I don't have very aesthetically pleasing backgrounds so I'm trying to step up my game to make my videos more interesting for you. I don't feel like wearing really heavy foundation for this Valentine's Day date so I'm going to wear my Garnier BB Cream. It's really light and it's just perfect for when you want barely there makeup. Is there anything worse than when you try to put on foundation and like the baby hairs you have, like the little tiny straggly hairs get in the way and get like matted to your skin? I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just kind of get off the residue I left on my eyebrows and on my lips. Cooper's in one of those crazy cat moods right now. I'm going to take my Neutrogena Shine Control and kind of pat down the areas I'm really shiny. The shininess is from my moisturizer. It's a very, very shiny moisturizer. which I love that about it, but I kind of want a little more matte look today, so I'm just going to take down some of the shine. But the great thing about my moisturizer is it's so strong. Even putting on power won't mess with it. Like, it's still going to keep my skin really hydrated. I'm going to be using uh, Neutrogena Shine Control. And it's just really great. Um, it has no color. It just, like, goes on translucent. Cooper! Is that not the most satisfying feeling ever to, like... I always feel like such a, I don't know, like a diva or a mean girl from a movie when I'm like clamping my makeup mirror like that. It's kind of dorky now that I say it out loud. It's time to do my brows. I'm going to be using my Maybelline uh, Brow Drama. It's a really great eyebrow mascara. I just realized I can see one thing I need to conceal. I have a zit right there because I'm an idiot and I tried to pop a blackhead and now it's just a disgusting mess. Learned my lesson, but I gotta cover this bad boy up. Is that better? No? I think that's as good as it's gonna get covered, but oh well, life's short, we all get zits. No biggie. I just realized I did brows before contour and blush and highlight, which is really out of order. So, sorry about that. Gonna go back in time, do a little bit of contour. Here's my disgusting Smashbox uh, palette. It's disgusting because I lost the lid and I still keep using it, but hey, it was like, you know, expensive. My little it's a cosmetic sponge and blend. I'm going to use my Dream Bounty Blush from Maybelline. It's the shade Rose Petal and just put it on my cheeks. I realize I use a lot of Maybelline products. This is not sponsored by Maybelline in any way. Um, I think it's just because my mom always used Maybelline and so when I started wearing makeup I would just wear my mom's makeup. And so I've kind of been using Maybelline since I was little. Not little. I was 17 when I started wearing makeup. Just a little bit to give my cheeks some like flushed color. Next, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Lumi highlighter, which is a really great highlighter, and this is in the shade Rose. Just kind of mix it all up because there's four different shades, but I like to use the two that are the lightest since I use it as a highlighter. But I think you can also use it as a brush. Then blend, blend, blend. 
Next, I'm going to put on some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using some from the Blush News palette by Maybelline, just because it's Valentine's Day, and I feel like doing something romantic and blush and easy. I've lost the little thingy that comes with it, like the brush, so I'm using just the brush from my Naked 2 palette. I'm going to be using this uh, brown shade on the far end. Yes, I blend with my finger. I know someone's gonna be like, oh my god, you're blending with your finger. But hey, sometimes it works better than a brush. I'm just gonna pop in this pink color um, with my the other end of my brush, the small end. I'm gonna take this pink color and just pop it in the corner of my eyes to kind of brighten it up. This year for Valentine's Day, me and Scott are going to a painting class and I'm so excited because I've always loved painting but I'm really bad at it. I like watching like Bob Ross and stuff like that. Really looking forward to it. I've never done it before but I'm hoping for the best. And we're both gonna be painting the same picture so now, now it's like a little competition as to who's gonna paint the best picture. Cause that's how it is with me and him. Like we turn everything pretty much into a competition. And he was gonna surprise me with the class but he told me literally two weeks ago cause he said he couldn't keep a secret for that long from me. I don't feel like wearing eyeliner today. It's too much of a hassle. I just kind of want a fresh look, so I'm just gonna put on my mascara. It's the Clump Crush. It's the little little can't talk today. Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. Really great for just having like light and airy lashes. No clumps. Are you kidding me? Seriously. In the last video you guys said to wait for it to dry if it gets on your eye and then wipe it off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take your advice and do that. I'm gonna leave it, let it dry, and hopefully it will wipe off easy. Thanks for that tip by the way. I feel like I spend the longest amount of time on my eyelashes than any part of my makeup routine. Because I'm pretty particular. I don't like any clumps and I don't like it to be too much. I think it's dried off now, so I'm gonna try to wipe it off. Oh, it wasn't dry enough. I guess I didn't wait long enough. How long do you wait for it to dry? Maybe I'm too impatient. Now I gotta do the eyeshadow on the side over again. One thing I miss about living at home and living with my sister is anytime I do my makeup, I'd run to her wherever she was in the house and I'd be like, does this look even to you? Does this look even? And she'd tell me honestly, she'd be like, no, that is so uneven, they could not be any more uneven than that. Or she'd be like, actually, it looks okay. They're, they're even for you. She's really good at doing her makeup, so I always feel like I have to ask for her opinion on it. Then I'm gonna put a Maybelline Great Lash on my bottom mascara. Next, I'm gonna put my concealer under my eyes. I do it after I do my eye makeup because sometimes I, when I'm putting on my lower mascara, I get it on the eye part and I would have to redo the concealer anyway, so I just do it afterwards. I love this lipstick, it's from NARS and it's the shade Anita. I got it like two years ago and I use it all the time. It's very pretty and it's very like natural looking, which I love about it. I'm gonna take a makeup sponge and just dab a little, just to take a little bit off. I do this with all my lipsticks. You know what, I'm feeling a little glossy today, so I'm gonna add some of my Booksome from uh, Benefit Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is the only lip gloss I own. I'm not usually a lip gloss person, but this is amazing. It smells really good, and I'm using the shade Sophia. Just a little pop of gloss, you know. You know. I slept with my hair in a bun, so I'm gonna take it down and hopefully have some nice waves. It's always a gamble. Sometimes it's nice waves, sometimes it's a frizzy mess. through it. Okay, it's, it's alright. I've seen better, I've seen worse. I'm gonna spray my Moroccan sea salt spray in it. Just because I have really straight hair and if I don't add something to it, even though sea salt's very simple, it's not a very harsh product, but I have to have something because my hair is so naturally straight that it will go straight. And I'm going to spray on my Victoria's Secret Oh So Sexy spray. I don't really like perfumes, but I love Victoria's Secret's like little body sprays. 
Um, and this one's like been my favorite for a while. It just smells really like fresh and clean. I'm noticing I'm still a little shiny, so I'm going to put some more of that Neutrogena stuff on. And I'm going to use the pad that came in it this time instead of a makeup sponge. So maybe that will help better. Oh yeah. That was the key. So thank you guys for getting ready with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a really happy Valentine's Day, whether it's with your significant other, your family, your friends, or just Netflix and yourself. There's no shame in that game. I spent many a Valentine's Day single and in my bed eating a box of chocolates. I'll catch you on the flip side.